If you want an advanced workout routine that you can do in just seven minutes from the comfort of your own home to build chest muscle, then this follow along workout is for you. Hey there, Coach Tyler here, and today I'm gonna share with you a simple seven minute advanced bodyweight workout routine that you can do with zero equipment and from the comfort of your own home to build chest muscle. Specifically, you'll be targeting the pecs, which are the big muscles of your chest that everyone knows about. And we'll also hit the rest of the muscles that surround your shoulders, like your lats, your serratus, and most of the muscles that are between your shoulder blades. Oh, and we'll also make sure to hit your abs too, because who doesn't want a better set of abs? Am I right? Oh, and one more thing, make sure to stick around to the end of this video, because I'll also give you my favorite cool down stretches for your chest after you finish this workout. Okay, now that you know what the plan is, here's how this workout is going to work. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest on the following three exercises. Dive bomber push-ups, narrow stance row and fly, and finally, grasshopper push-ups. We're gonna do this for three rounds. So let's get started with those dive bomber push-ups in three, two, one, and go! Take a big breath in as you go down and give a big exhale as you go up. If this is too hard, try this. Turn your elbow pits forward, squeeze your glutes, and pull your shoulder blades back and down as you look toward the sky. Three, two, one. All right, you made it. Next up, narrow stance, row and fly. Get ready. Take small breaths, keeping your core tight as you do this movement. If this is too hard, try this. Pull your elbow and hand as far back as you can without twisting your shoulders. Three, two, one, keep it up. Next up, grasshopper push-ups. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go down and give a big exhale as you go up. If this is too hard, try this. Squeeze your abs and your glutes and tuck your pelvis. Don't let your back sag. Three, two, one. You're crushing it. Round two, woo! Next up, dive bomber push-ups. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go down and give a big exhale as you go up. Remember, Form first, intensity second. Make sure all the points of your hand are in contact with the surface and grip tightly with your fingers. Try to remember to use the elevator to strengthen your core as you do this movement. Three, two, one, keep it up, I'm proud of you. Next up, narrow stance row and fly. Get ready. Try to keep your hips low and glutes tight. Don't let your butt stick out. 
take it easy if you need to. Squeeze your abs and your glutes and tuck your pelvis. Don't let your back sag. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. Three, two, one, keep it up. Great job. Next up, grasshopper push-ups. Get ready. Make sure all the points of your hand are in contact with the surface and grip tightly with your fingers. Health is the greatest gift. Try to press through your shoulders and rotate your elbow pits forward to finish each rep. Looking good, keep it up. Three, two, one, keep it up. So if you like this strategy of getting fit while feeling great, go ahead and click the link or go to weshape.com where you can get a workout that's absolutely customized to you, where you pick every single movement based on your goals, your strength, your flexibility, your balance, and your coordination. Okay, back to the exercise. Round three, here we go. Next up, dive bomber push-ups. Get ready. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. Keep it going, you can do this. Do every rep with your heels in line with your hips and your toes facing forward. Don't rush this movement. The more control you have, the better. Health is the greatest gift. Three, two, one, yes, looking good. Next up, narrow stance row and fly. Get ready. Keep pushing yourself. Do every rep with your heels in line with your hips and your toes facing forward. Try to remember to use the elevator to strengthen your core as you do this movement. Don't rush this movement. The more control you have, the better. Three, two, one. All right, you made it. Next up, grasshopper push-ups. Get ready. The best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Try to remember to use the elevator to strengthen your core as you do this movement. Squeeze your abs and your glutes and tuck your pelvis. Don't let your back sag. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, there you have it. A follow along seven minute advanced bodyweight workout routine to build chest muscle. Now, while building chest muscle is amazing, and I did my best to pick exercises that actually stretch and strengthen the other muscles that surround your shoulders, you should also dedicate some time to stretching because a tight chest can cause pain in your neck, upper back, and shoulders. And that's the last thing that I want for you. So I made this video for you right here. And inside, I'm gonna share with you my three favorite stretches for all of the muscles that surround your chest. When you do these three stretches, you can improve your posture, feel amazing, and create an upper body that feels as good as it looks. All right, I'll see you over in that video next.